Okay, in the long run, which route? Is it going to be the one closest uh, or is it going to be out to sea? Well, it's going to be for a little bit farther on out to sea. We're still going to get a good solid piece of this storm. Here's the latest forecast model between 7 o'clock Friday night uh, and Saturday evening at 7 o'clock. That's that 24 hour time frame in which things are going to be happening. So let's have a look at what's going on. We're also watching for what the center of the storm is doing. Here it is developing into here by 2 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. Uh, and here's the snowfall entering the Hampton Roads area, certainly eastern North Carolina. There's where things are by 7 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. The storm is still developing on down into here uh, by Saturday morning at 7. Take you on through the day. This is where we are at 11 o'clock in the morning. There's the center of the storm at that point. Widespread snow throughout the region uh, by 11 o'clock in the morning. By the afternoon hours, 3 o'clock, it's starting to erode a little bit on the western side of things. So we are seeing the beginning of the end. There's the storm right there by 3 in the afternoon. And then by 7 o'clock in the evening, it's advanced a little bit farther northeastward. And it's starting to pull on around. So we're starting to see the uh, moisture shut off on this. So again, I think we'll see the snow coming to an end during the 6 and 7 o'clock hour uh, throughout the area. So again, that's what's going on on the bigger picture. We take a look at what's going on uh, in terms of locally. Now we're going to go into things, show you what's going on uh, for the day Thursday and on into Friday and Saturday and Sunday. Uh, during the overnight hours, it'll drop on down into the low to mid 30s, so definitely cooler. And these are all wind streamlines, what the wind is doing uh, throughout the region coming up by tomorrow morning. Here's where things are at 3 in the afternoon. 45, that's it, 45, 46 for a high temperature, so definitely cooler. Now overnight, it's popped up with a little bit more rainfall into the area. And a couple of days ago, we were concerned that we might see a wind mix overnight. It doesn't look like it. There's a little bit farther to the north, perhaps toward the eastern shore, but even there, I'm not real concerned for either area uh, because, again, it doesn't look like much. Three o'clock in the morning, it's all moving on off, and there's where things are by Friday morning. 34, 32, 37. And if we rise into the low 40s, but then by the afternoon, it drops on down into the 37, 38 degree range, 36 by 7 o'clock in the evening, and there's the snow starting to move on in. That's by Friday evening at 7 o'clock. Rather breezy as well. The long range forecast model, we've just flipped on over to the long range forecast model. It agrees with the situation and it puts some snow into the Hampton Roads area by 1 o'clock in the morning, certainly over the south side. And eastern North Carolina, of course. There's where things are at 3 o'clock in the morning, 5 o'clock in the morning. These, some of these darker colors show up, darker blues indicating a little bit heavier snowfall uh, occasionally throughout the area. 9 o'clock in the morning, 27, 28 degrees, 26, 25. There's where things are at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Now, the back edge of this started to erode a little bit. And that means it's going to start pushing on out, but it's oriented more north-south uh, than uh, earlier forecast models. So again, I think that's what we're going to end up seeing by seven o'clock in the evening. It's moving on out, and there's the longer-range forecast model. It doesn't do white for snow or blue for snow. Uh, it just does green for precipitation. Anyway, it's kind of moving out too. And during the day on Sunday, 30, 32, if we're lucky. Uh, but chances are, with the snow on the ground coming up by Sunday, it'll uh, remain rather chilly. <clears throat> Here's what's going on. Oh, I've expanded, I've updated this forecast, this uh, forecast, snow total forecast for you. And I've done this manually, uh, put it together out of all the forecast models that we're looking at. I've expanded a little bit farther north. We're traced to the north, two inches farther south. We're toward Williamsburg and toward Melfa, perhaps two inches as well. But then I've also expanded the two to four and the four to seven northward just a bit. So a little bit more snow for the peninsula, a little bit uh, bigger snow coming up for the south side as well. And there could be some streaks here and there, uh, some bands of real intense snow that could produce upwards of seven inches of snow, uh, seven inches or more into parts of the region, especially eastern North Carolina. So we'll want to watch out for that during the day, uh, or probably in the middle of the day, uh, or 11 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, coming up uh, during the day on Saturday. Here's where things are again for eastern North Carolina. Some of this could be mixed in with a lot of rain, so we could end up with less than four to seven inches in some of these areas because it's so close to the water. Uh, so we'll watch out for that. And along the oceanfront areas, too, uh, we'll kind of watch out for a little bit less snow right at the water's edge uh, along the oceanfront and bayfront. But generally, I think even into the Hampton Road City south side, we could see uh, around four inches of snow. 
we get anything above two inches of snow and we're pretty well shut down, right? So uh, again, if we get seven inches of snow, it's just kind of academic, adds to it. Uh, so uh, again, we are going to get shut down during the day on Saturday. So we hit the grocery stores between th Thursday and Friday uh, because I think you're going to get snowed in on Saturday and it'll be tough to get around on Sunday as well. I think by uh, noon or so on Sunday, some of the main roads could be cleared throughout the area. Stay tuned. It's all highly subject to change, but it does look for all the world like we're going to get some snow Friday night and into the day on Saturday.